next topic is Lotus theorem. So in Turing's theorem, we have discussed in, the, in, in Turing's theorem, uh, we have we have modeled a complex uh, network uh, into a simple voltage source and a string series with it. Similarly, in Lotus theorem, the thing is again uh, we are going to uh, make this complex network. We are going to reduce that complex network into a simple circuit. The thing is any linear bilateral complex network can be modified into a simple circuit containing a current source or that source called as Lotus current uh, or uh, saturated current uh, and a resistance called Devon resistance called RT gauge as of what we found in uh, Devon's uh, theorem RT gauge and that one in parallel with the source. So you can see here this is a complex network and here is the load uh, the current point is load only we, our, our aim is to find the current point is load. So now we got a complex network this network can be modeled into a simple equal circuit like this having only one current source and a resistance in parallel with it. So the same what we have done with uh, uh, this one, uh, Devon's theorem. Here only thing we are going to find is uh, Lotus current. There we have open circuit terminals uh, where the load is being connected. Here the same thing what we are going to, uh, the, the same way how what we are going to do, we are going to remove the load and we are going to have short, short circuit over there. So we will find the short circuit current over there and so that we will uh, we can come to this equal circuit. So I will show you some basic circuit. Uh, using a basic circuit I can show how this one can be modeled from uh, this complex network being converted into this uh, current source and uh, uh, terminal systems. So now we are going to now we are going to uh, solve this circuit using our serum. So the first thing is to remove the load. Uh, with the terminals A and B. So I am going to change the circuit uh, into like this. So I have changed the circuit like this. I have removed the load resistance and I have uh, kept open here. So here this R1 and here this R2 and here this B. Now the, uh, the aim of this Lotus theorem is uh, to convert this particular part into this simple part. Correct? So what I am going to do is now, now I am going to short circuit this terminal and I am going to find not on current or short circuit current. It's not short circuit. In the earlier in the, the, the terminal stereo we have opened and we have found voltage source or voltage at the open circuit uh, phase. Now we have short circuit in the terminal J and B and so that now we are going to find short circuit current or this one is not on current. Now once if you do like this, what will be the what will be the value of uh, current you can see once I have shorted this, this resistance becomes inoperative. This becomes inoperative. So no current will be flowing through this R2. Always current takes the path, shortest path, low resistance path. So this resistance will not come into picture. Now this IM will be simply V by R1. So now the current uh, to the short circuit path is IM is equal to V by R1. The net resistance to the circuit now becomes R1, so V by R1. This resistance will not come into picture since current will take only the shortest path or you can say low resistance path. Current will not flow. Current coming out of this and flowing towards this at this node it will look, uh, it will look into the circuit or uh, the branches. In this branch it has got resistance so it will not uh, choose this path to take that short circuit path. So now the net resistance to the circuit become R1. So I n is equal to V by R1. That is your short circuit resistance value. Similarly now we have to find R channel. R that is similar to the earlier case, the same way how we found in the last case. So now we have to short circuit this to find R channel. I have to short circuit this and uh, from this open end A and B, I have to move back and I have to find R channel that is R1 and R2 here. So look back from the open, open end where the load is removed from that end we have to look, up there, uh, look back and we have to find the load resistance. So R channel is equal to again simply R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So now we can model the circuit as not all current IN or IAC and I can place this R channel in parallel and I can connect the load now here. So current point to node can be easily found. So here it is the current flowing through RL. Now this is RL connected again, connected back to the terminals A and B. Now I can find IL. 
What is IL? Just apply current division method, you can find IL. What is IL? IL is equal to, that is, current going through this path I need, apply current division method, IL is equal to total current into other resistance is R terminal divided by total resistance. R terminal plus R. So, this is how you can find the load current using not on zero. Thank you.